I want that to be a lesson to people out there, right? Whoever else has ever dated someone that's in the limelight, how do you feel? How do you keep your jealousy in check? It's about acceptance. Will you accept who I am, the way I am, how I function, and be real about it? But let me tell you, people are always trying to tear down what you got. Yes. I don't need to know your personal business if it doesn't benefit me. But when we have business together, such as what we do on this panel, then we share what we need to share. For any guy that I date, I first let them know, like, I'm dating you for you. What, what, what? Welcome to Single on a Saturday, brought to you by Urban Expressions and the whole crew. And today is a special day. We're talking to the couples, you know? We're talking to couples and, and we're talking about are you marriage material? I don't know who's to tell you who's marriage material, but we're going to find out from Robert J. Moore Entertainment because he has a play and a movie all about are you marriage material. But I want to I, I want to start off with actually asking everybody, are you marriage material? I want to hear these answers, too. And I'm going to start to my left, and you have to identify whether you are married or not. To my left. Hey, what's going on? I'm Mike Davis, and I am married. I like to think I'm marriage material. Oh. <laughs> I, I've been married for seven years, so I think I'm doing all right oh, so far. Good. Seven that's year itch. I think I'm doing all right, though. Is that true? The seven years? We will talk about that later. I don't know. Okay, all right. I'm passing it over. <laughs> How y'all doing? My name is Naja Hill, and I am single. And I like to think that I'm marriage material. <laughs> Just haven't found the one yet. Pause on that one. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> What's going on, family? It's your big homie, Stormy Weathers. I am single, and I'm actually, I got to see what quantifies being marriage material, because I believe that I am. But people say, well, why ain't you? I said, not for lack of trying. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you tried? Yeah, a couple you, times. You tried? Yeah, absolutely. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I, I, a lot I of didn't people know don't either. Know. I, 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 you just told us something new. Everybody in my business don't let this TV thing fool you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we're supposed to be, we're supposed <laughs> oh. to be in your business. <laughs> oh, look, all these years, you never know. I, I never knew that you tried it, you know? You never say, oh, yeah, I tried it. I was engaged. You know, because that's a big step right there. D uh, trust me. You asked her? She said, uh, what she yes. said? Yes. What happened? What she said? We got other people. In I know. I just want to know now. I'm just being later. newsy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being newsy now. I am Shelly Shell Williams. And uh, do I think I'm marriage material? Yes, I do believe I'm marriage material. And I have tried it. It didn't work either. But the next time is it. Next time That's is it. Feel. That's what I'm That's saying. I'm putting feel. that all That's up in the atmosphere. The yeah. next time is it. Yes. Um, hello, everyone. I am Nikki Feltz. Mm -hmm. And I am married. And, oh my God, I forgot. Um, I think I've been married like 30 years, 27. What? 27 what years? Is it, babe? I forgot. Well, 27, 27. 20, How many years is smooth? 28, you, 28. You, I am smooth. so sorry. After 20, yo, after 20, it's just like, yo, we still we it till well, death, right? Still well, that's so smooth, apparently. He said 28. He, thank, thank you, babe. And, um, because I, of man. that, I they think say, I'm They say men say, don't remember. You better remember. <laughs> I'm going to say, based on 28 years of experience, yes, I am marriage material. All right now. Oh, Robert J. Moore. <laughs> so I'm Robert J. Moore, the writer of uh, Are You Marriage Material? Um, yes, I am married. My beautiful wife is right there. All right. Um, we've been married, it'll be two years, June the 24th. We've been together for uh -huh. about seven years. Good. Oh, wow. Good. And are you, am I marriage material? Yeah, I'm marriage material. Yeah, and I'll tell you some of the Hell reasons why. Yeah. I, my wife probably would say, you know, I need some work. Depending on the uh oh, that's, that's part of the fun. Now I want to know. That's part of the journey. Asking. I, I, it depends on what day they ask her. Yeah, if, if, I, if I'm doing everything that she tells me that I'm supposed to do. Yo, you sound like my cousin. We're going to talk material. on that. Yeah. Yeah, but. Oh, um, I can't wait to hear. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, uh -huh. yeah, I think I'm marriage material. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. What's up, Parker? Go ahead, Parker. Well, my name is Parker, and I am engaged hey, to be married. Yes, All right, Parker. Yes, sir. So, uh, for me, I am, uh, I didn't used to be marriage material. I can tell you the truth about that. You know, I had my fun. You know, I had a lot of good days and a lot of good nights. <laughs> but I'm a little bit older now, and I found something that's, you know, kind of worth my time and my, and my while. Oh. So, uh, I think at this point in my life, I am definitely marriage material. That's tough, All right. Oh, I like man, that. You had man, to man with confidence. Yeah, 
I like that. I like that. I still want to. I still want to hear the uh, the reasons why. So tell us about why you created the um, the play, which is a movie and a play. Yeah. yeah. Um, tell us about the play, the people in it, and then we can introduce the people in it. Okay. So I wrote this play because of uh, mm. that woman right there. Ooh. Yo, he, he, pointed, man, he pointed hard. Oh, sure he pointed hard. He pointed hard. Yeah, right there. He no, but seriously, he um, threw the I, bus on her. Yeah, yeah, I he did. He did the yeah. Whoopi Goldberg. That's, that's the reason why. Yeah. That's the reason why. Yeah. I mean, so, like, tell us. I mean, I know she's the reason why, but what was it? Were you before you wrote the play? Were you marriage material, or did you have to grow into it? I think, I think, just like Parker said, I've, I've, you know, I've, I've had my fun. I've been out there doing a lot of things, and you know, as a man, you know, you know who you want to marry. You know, women, y'all always think that y'all ready, y'all marriage material, whatever. Y'all already. So. Not you all get in, women. Yeah. Sure. When you get in a relationship, oh, he going to marry me, or I'm the one, this and this and that, you know. But a man, when a man meets a woman, and I'm telling you, as a man, we automatically know if we're going to marry that woman. Literally. Yeah. yeah. Automatically. Automatically. Yeah. Automatically know. It's, I, I just need to know if that universal, baby, because you know, is it, do you add, did you automatically know? I agree. Um, and I, it, it, what it is, it's, it's an energy, just like the brother said, he, Rob said, he, you know, because there's a feeling that you have, because there's a feeling that you get from her. There's an energy, in the, there's something that you get from her. And that other voice is God telling you this is the person. Mm. So, yes, you know, because yeah, so, you, you know when you want to play, mm -hmm. and you know when you want to really lay. Yeah, so, yeah, but, yeah, go ahead, Park, go ahead. Yeah, but I think most of us have a checklist, for the most part, even if it's subliminal. Mm -hmm. And we expect certain things from the person that we're giving our time to. And I think once we see some of those qualities, it kind of keeps us there to see if some more things may occur as we move forward. And I think that helps us to decide whether the person that we're putting our time into mm -hmm. is actually the person for us or not. Because a lot of times we go into relationships because of the look of, of, of someone. And two months later, you're not even with, with that person anymore. Mm -hmm. Beauty is on the outside. You need it to be on the inside as well. So we got to be careful with how we move forward. Mm -hmm. Look, and as a woman, I can say um, I knew because um, when I met my husband, um, I was enjoying life. I was, I think I was very happy. Um, and then when, when I met this man, I, f I, I got to look at myself and I was like, self? If this was him, and you know, you were gonna get with him. Would you want to get with him? I was like, mm mm. And it made me want to change who I was to make myself presentable Ooh. for this man. And okay. it changed my life. So I know, I, I never had a man that make, made me want to make myself presentable. Ooh. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's, that's wow. deep. We we, uh, we we talk about a lot of times on the show is the difference we wanted to. Uh, to get with somebody and want to be with someone. And cause I'm, I'm, we sharing the same, like you said, the checklist, the, the plan. Well, I was actually done playing a long time ago. Gotcha. But what happened was I say, you know, right now because of the business, because of entertainment, because of how hard and how dedicated I am to my job and my business, I have to get past that, that, that thing that made you love me when it starts to make you hate me. Because being in the gym, being on set, being at different productions, working in different, in my in my regular nine to five job on top of all the movies, all the plays, all the podcasts, the monthly shows and writing, that's what I do, that's what I do. And it sounds good when you, oh, he on TV, oh, he in movies, he in this, he in that. Right, but now when I have to be at rehearsal, when I have to be on set, when I have to go out of town to be on a production, and it's, oh, you ain't never around. So it's like you married to your profession. That's how they take it, you saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I go through that. Yep. I go through that. Even, right at, now. even being married, you go through that? <laughs> yeah, I go through Absolutely. that. Absolutely. But um, eventually, I, and I'm going to say because I see successful relationships right here, there's a compromise and a level of communication and a level of participation on both parts to make it work because this is your, your passion. And your purpose is to make your marriage successful, so you find a way to have those things coexist, right? That's yes. that work-life balance. A work, yeah, but that's a working process, though. You know gotcha. what I mean? When you, when you are an entrepreneur and you're trying mm. to go out and you're doing all of this stuff and your your focus is is want to be successful, you not only want to be successful for yourself, you want to be successful for your family. So okay. when you take time and a lot of the stuff that you're taking time to, that you're thinking is your passion. When you get people saying, oh, you're not doing this and you're not doing that, I feel sometimes it's like, yo, 
are you trying to stop me from chasing or doing? So it's like, like you said, a compromise of, you know, listen, understanding what I'm trying to do, but also being able to have to put some time in at home exactly. also. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Compromise think, think, and communication. I'm sorry, Chef. No, 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 I was going to say I, I wanted to go off the key. You said I'm doing this. I'm working this hard for my family. So in our, in your head as the entrepreneurs, we're thinking I'm working this hard. I'm not married to what I do. I'm just working this hard because I want to see the success for my family or for the marriage because I don't, you know, I, we all want money. I mean, that's what we want, right? Mm -hmm. But we want it so that we can spend it on our family, so mm -hmm. we can go on vacations, do whatever we want to do. So that's why we're working hard. But I don't like the, the I'm married to my career. People always used to say that I'm not married to my career. Mm -hmm. That I remember the moments when I'm like, this career is not keeping me happy. Mm -hmm. This career do not do what it need to do, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm doing it because I want to be successful for the family. But go ahead, I'm sorry. No, that, that's pretty much it. Um, but I think your partner should be a fan of what you do as well. Because if yeah, she's not sure. or he's not, um, you know, being a fan of you, they, they just look at you like, uh, yeah, you are married to that. And it's more important than I am. So if you, you got to have that communication. That's the biggest thing in the world. If y'all don't talk, it's going to go down the drain, I tell you. Well, you but see, what? sacrifices as well when it comes to relationships. You know what I mean? If I'm doing this. My God. If I'm doing this and, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do something to better our life, then I would expect you to be on board with me. Although I don't have the time that you would like for me to spend with you, understand that moving forward will create that time because the finances, everything else will start to fall in place if you just give me a little bit of space to be able to create this for us all. But sometimes you have people who are on the opposite side who pull you back because exactly. of their own selfishness. Yep, yep. That's, that's, that's people's personal selfishness. Oh. That has nothing to do with the person who's out there trying to create something for themselves. So you can't allow yourself to be drawn into somebody else's negativity. You have to keep doing what's best for you, regardless of whether that person feels as though it's good for them or not. So, you know, relationships are definitely uh, things that you have to have sacrifice. You really do have to make that sacrifice. For so let's, let's talk about the If you sacrifice. care that much about that person, you will make that sacrifice as well. Let's talk about That's the sacrifice thing. of putting a play together. Talk about the play. Before we get into our next segment, which is coming up, which is all about couples. So um, let's talk about the play. Who, who's in the play? And was any of this covered in, in, in the play and in the movie? All of this is covered in the play. And the oh, movie. oh, for real? Y'all yeah, go down that, deep? Yeah, it, it, it goes down. From the, from the beginning of the play and the movie, you know, it starts off crazy. Literally, the, the, the whole relationship... You know, I, you know, it starts off rocky. It starts off. It's it's really, it's 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 it's, it's believable. It's things that everybody in life go through. You know, you have this this wife that you know is is, is jealous, intimidated, you know, for her own selfish reasons because you know maybe you know the man has done a lot of stuff in the past and she can't let the past go. But then you have this this crazy girlfriend that's. You know, that's in your ear that continue to keep on telling you how bad of your your partner is and leave your man, but she mm. don't even have no man. You know, <laughs> so it's just like you know you going Those through all the of this. Ones, yeah, man. oh yeah, man. Listen, I that's why I really like me. Listen, that's why I'm bro, really mess with too many folks. Bro, friends, listen, man. let me explain. Got a lot of got a lot of too many girlfriends. I'm the, good. Bro, yeah. listen, let me explain what? something to you. I wrote, listen, we'll talk about it. Yeah, I wrote the play. This girl that I'm gonna show y'all, I hate her. I wrote the play <laughs> hating her. Oh, so you, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Listen, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen to me. No, 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 I hate hold it. on. Listen, listen, listen. We're going to get into that. Yeah. We, we're going to be up against the break right now. We're going to take this break, take us the break. We're going to come back. We're going to give us some time to talk about that part mm -hmm. and get to, into the characters before we go into the couple's uh, couples piece, all right? All right. You do what you do. How well or something? Ooh, I can't do, wait to do go. Do what you do. do we're going to go. Okay. Shout out to um, Philly Model Gill. And definitely we have a, a performance by, tell us who we have a performance by. Oh, we got a performance by King Rye. King Rye's coming up. King Rye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Up. So you just keep the station locked so you can feel it like, you know what I mean? We'll be back. Single on a Saturday. Hi, my name is Karen Montgomery. I am the director of Philly Model Guild. And this afternoon, we have some fashion finds for you. We are featuring sweat dresses. If you're wondering bring what a sweat out, dress out, is, out, this is out. one it's from my favorite store, Target. So let's get started with our models. This is Miss Rose. She is wearing something from Love Bites from Fashionista. Ta Tatiana. It is a multicolor with silver booty shoes. This is Miss Rose. Woo! 
Right now, silver boogie shoes. This next young lady, she paired her sweat dress with some denim tight pants and heels. Originally, this was from Woo! artist Richard Watson. It's hand painted and cut to style. This is a sweat dress. Happy right. birthday to All right. you. Happy birthday, Evan. Happy birthday, Heaven. Next, we have the Queen Bee. Woo! She is wearing Woo! a multicolor with black tights, black shoes, and her fabulous hair. This is Queen Bee. All right, now. And you can catch her in the movie, A Body to Kill For. And Charmaine is wearing another one from Fashionista Tatiana, Woo! Love Bites, with her high top boots, all blue. And it is a sweat dress. <laughs> this is our fashion finds. And they're coming back out just to give you another look at their outfits. They're coming? What happened? Woo! Right. All blue. This is by Richard Watson, hand painted. This is Miss Queen B, and she's wearing a graffiti. Woo! Yes. Woo! These are sweat dresses. You can, if they're too long, you can cut them. It doesn't make any difference. Sweat dresses by fashionista Tatiana and artist Richard Watson. All right. Woo! Yes, I love that. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are back right here, single on Saturday night, where we are discussing are you marriage material with the brother Rob J. Moore? and his cast from his movie and play of the same title, right? Same yep. name? Yep, same name. All right, we went to a quick break and we're gonna do this right now. We yeah. were having a conversation about knowing people, how you know people, whatever, but let's get to the production. We got your cast here. Yes. Let's run it down. Yes. <clears throat> so to your left, that's Naja Hill. She plays Selena. Um, that's Mike Davis. He plays Mike in the movie and the play. And then we go to the audience, that's Camilla. She, um, tell them who I'm you Latoya, are. I'm Latoya, and I play Camilla in the play. <laughs> How you doing? I'm Brian Benson. I play Sean in the play. Hello, my name is Devin McManus, and I play Buford in the play. Hello, everyone. My name is Bree Creative, um, nurse, mother, model, singer, rapper. I'm playing Monica in this play, so I, I hate I'm going to be her. Okay. They hate me, but in real life, they yes, love me. I but I love you, girl. I love, I love you, girl. Let's finish the introduction, though. Look at the love hate. The minute. Hate That's what I want to do now. Get them out and get the love hate. Hello, hello. Hey. I'm Day, a.k.a. Pretty Boy Day. And I'm actually just an understudy right now. You know, just in case anything go wrong, Mr. Mike, I can't do it like he do it, but I'm going to try. Brother, let me tell you something as an actor. If you tell understand, me, you can do it like he's doing it. You just there in case the brother don't show I up, mean, all right? You yes, got sir. that. Not yes, just sir. an understudy. You're the understudy. Thank yes, you. Sir. Well right, said. Say less. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Greetings. Greetings. Hey. Greetings. And, and salutations. <laughs> uh -huh. Only him. I'm playing myself. I'm just uh, one of the singers in the play that... Uh, Bring a little, uh, I don't know what you would call it, a um, little excitement on stage when it comes down to music-wise. So, oh. um, which I'll be performing here today. So, y'all see. Yeah, what's, your what's your name? What's your name? King Rye. King Rye. King Rye. Tinta is so not on. She does not like the spotlight. Okay, now we got a you couple go people. We got a the couple people. <laughs> if there's anybody else that need to be introduced, okay, all right, Just that's okay. Now, you got these two people up here with us for a reason. 
Yeah, those two right there, those are the main characters in the movie and the play right there. That's Selena <clears throat> and that's Mike. Um, I chose them two. Um, if when you guys come and you see the play and you see the movie, um, them two are, they bring it. Everything that I want. Um, Naj just came on, so she, you know, she's in the movie. Um, so she's not in the play, um, but she's in the movie and she brings it, man. Like, well, let, let, let's, let's get on that. Naj, how are you? Pleasure to meet Hi, you. Hi, everyone. Thanks Pleasure for being here singing too. on Saturday night. Please tell us about your character. Tell us how you got brought into the production and how the relationship and how things have been going and what, it, what is it about the character that you like or dislike? Because we heard a lot of love, hate going on. So please tell us about your character. Okay, so um, a little about Selena from my perspective is um, she's just a woman who's in love with someone, but she has some type of intimidation. She's in, she shows some insecurities uh, within her relationship, so she's not 100% sure whether or not you know her man is for her 100% or if he's doing some things behind her back. And she has this annoying best friend that um, she doesn't know how to differentiate between, you know, the two relationships. She allows her best friend to kind of butt in all the time in their situations. She's not strong enough to kind of, like, separate her best friend and say, listen, I need you to really stop and let me handle this. She kind of... She not say, hey, boo, you ain't getting none, so that's on you. Like, you need to go handle yourself. Go, right. get, go get you a shower or something. Is that what you wanted to say? That's what she just said. Yeah, she like one of them <laughs> friends that's just like, girl, I don't care what you think, but this is what you need to do type of thing. Mm. So is that is that character similar to Naj, or we, that's just the character? That's how the character operate, and you're actually playing the character? Because some folks take some personal stuff so, and honestly, put it into the character. So honestly, the reason why um, I like this character because I feel like she kind of relates to me a little bit. So I can portray, you know, uh, this person because I've dealt with some situations in my personal life that kind of relates to the character um, when it comes down to relationships. I didn't mention in the interview before, but I was married. I am no longer married. So I do believe I'm marriage material. It's just that, you know, we go through things and we grow through things. So. Yeah, I like that. We go through things, we grow through things. Cool. Now. Next to you, I'm familiar with the brother. Let's, let's just get your, your, your character and what you bring into the character for the, for the production. All right, once again, I'm Mike Davis, um, singer, songwriter, actor. I try to do a little bit of anything. Um, so I played Michael in this play, and I definitely believe there's a lot of me. Now, I'm seven years married now, but this is my second marriage. So, oh, wow. You, I mean, you definitely go through things and you grow through things. Um, but I've definitely learned from that last relationship um, what to do in this relationship. Um, now, when it comes to this, this play, and so I played Michael in the play, I played Michael in the movie. And uh, I do believe when somebody, like, like she was saying, if you have issues or whatever, like she had trust issues, I'm trying to convey to her that, yes, I have a past and it's been sketchy at times or whatever but i love her and i keep trying to show her that i love her and like that insecurity stuff plays a part and that best friend monica that i can't stand so you you fighting every night I to gotta, prove your love got a perfect okay now I, only because I hate to, to cut you off but we're really definitely up against it for the segment got gotcha. so we got to cut that here but we're going to get back to y'all on some overtime some extra time stuff because okay. right now we got another piece that we got to go into so we're going to hold up Make that break right now, and then we're going to come right back, and we got to have uh, how well do you know your partner. And before we go to break, I have to 100% say congratulations to TNT, T and Tony. They have been where, single on a Saturday night for years, Woo! and they are currently engaged. So congratulations, hey, congratulations. congratulations. T and Tony. Um, I just saw a, a thing that came up six years ago. She was with us single on a Saturday night without a boo, but now she got a boo, a ring, and all that good stuff. I think it's like 100 Carrot ring. <laughs> okay, get it. That's a carrot ring. Get it. Right, let's go. Uh, well, he hey, really hey, loves Tom, it. If y'all need security, yeah, really brother, I got yeah, qualified three states. Let's get it cracking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who it is. It's YBH Stormy Weathers, your big homie. And guess what? All the way from Jersey, joining us right here on Single on Saturday Night. None other than the brother, the King himself, King Rod. Let's go. How's everybody? 
Yeah. Everybody good? Yeah. Yes, go. Everybody feeling good? Yeah. All right, so we're here, so we got some couples in here, right? Yeah. yeah? All right, well, listen. On this original song I wrote, it's titled, You're Beautiful. So every man in here, I want you to do something right now real quick. I want you to look at your lady and tell her these words, you're beautiful. Go ahead and look at, don't look at me. Look at your lady. Find your lady. Tell her you're beautiful. I heard you, big dog. I heard you. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Love, you're beautiful. All right, check it out right here. A natural beauty, your face. Looking like an angel. Your eyes and your smile tell me away. I could stare all day. You bring the glow to my soul. I can let it go. Your positive energy is so, so incredible. And this time I'm giving you your candy in the rose for being strong, holding on through all the hard times. This time I'm giving you your candy in the rose for everything you lost, just in case you wasn't told. You're beautiful, beautiful, yeah. Love, you're beautiful, yeah. Hey, just the way you are, you are. Love, you're beautiful, yeah. Just the way you are, the wind bow down when you walk. You light up the sky in the dark. The heavens agree, they open up, oh, never out of touch. And your positive energy is so incredible. This time, yeah, yeah, candy in the rose. Being strong, holding on through all the hard times this time. Yeah, yeah. Candy in the rose. Being strong, just in case it wasn't told. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Hey, love, you're beautiful. Yeah, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Love, you're beautiful, yeah, you're beautiful. Watch this here. Now over the hills and far away, beyond the land and the sea, it's a wonder that there's a story that's untold. You're so adored and you should know that. Love, you're beautiful, yeah. Just the way you are, you are, you are. Love, you're beautiful, yeah. Just the way you are, yeah. Love, you're beautiful, no. You're a force all by yourself. You are, you are, love, you're beautiful, yeah, just the way you are, just the way you are, just the way you are, hey, just the way you are, just the way you are, you're beautiful. Yeah, right, yeah, right, we want to yeah, another song, I see you, bro. 